Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you all an update to my Crash Bug Yu-Gi-Oh! DAC profile for November 2024. Wanted to update this pretty obscure Yu-Gi-Oh! deck. It's a Yu-Gi-Oh! deck that really hasn't gotten any support since its initial release, and that is the Crash Bug deck that focuses on being able to summon out their main go-to boss monster, which is number 34 terabyte. This is completely a nostalgia deck profile, with it all just being a playback to one of the first number monsters revealed and one that I definitely thought was really really cool for the time being number 34 terabyte it definitely wasn't a very good number monster but I love the design of terabyte and the monsters that were meant to be used with it being the crash bug monsters so I thought an update was due definitely just for this Xyz deck so let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile so we'll go ahead and start off with the main deck monsters. For the Crash Bug monsters, there are four different types of Crash Bugs. We have the Crash Bug X, which we're running three copies of. When this card's normal summon, you can special summon one Crash Bug Z from your deck. You must control a face-up Crash Bug Y to activate and resolve this effect. So the main play with this deck is to set up as many of your Crash Bug monsters on the field that you can to get out their bigger main deck boss monster as well. So along with the number 34 terabyte we have in the extra deck, we also have an extra deck uh, monster in the form of terabyte and our main deck monster in the form of our super Crash Bug, which we run as well. So three copies of Crash Bug x to be used to get z out but you need to have y on the field three copies of crash bug y when this card's normal some you can special summon crash bug x but you must have z to activate and resolve this effect and along with this pattern forming with the special summons of all of our different crash bug monsters we also run the three copies of crash bug z being able to special summon y from our deck but we have to control crash bug x so they all work in tandem together with the different special summon consistencies for the different crash bug monsters the main play is to get the three different crash bugs on the field and then use all three to overlay into number 34 terabyte and then our bigger boss monster being the super crash bug which we run two copies of it cannot be normal summoner set must be special summon from your hand and face up defense by banishing crash bug x y and z from your graveyard switch the attack and defense of all attack position monsters on the field and there going to be one super crash bug on the field so it really gives you no other options aside from just the attack switch it's a makeshift ojama country in terms of that play style for this card being able to do so it works with some of the other spells we run in the deck as well for the attack switch also for being able to switch the attack and defense of all face of attack position monsters so you'll have the defensive crash bug in defense for 3000 attack then you can switch it during the next turn and have a 3000 attack point level 4 monster to swing at your opponent with and then also the three copies of Tour Guide from the Underworld, just because the fact that it special summons a fiend monster from your deck, so it can grab the needed Crash Bug monster for you to have on the field. And there are some other spells that can work with this consistency just to give you more and more monsters on the field to use as well. With the last of the main deck monsters, I run one Armageddon Knight. I know it's no longer at one. You can run more copies if you wish, but it's just to be able to send our other Crash Bugs to the graveyard if we're one short to be able to then banish for Super Crash crash bug as well for these spells we run three copies of crash bug road each player can special summon one monster from their hand at the same level as one face up level four lower monster they control so while it does give you the opponent the option to special summon as well the main play with this is to grab the one crash bug that you will not be special summoning off of your normal summon crash bug so you'll be able to summon out a crash bug needing that specific crash bug you can then summon out with the normal summon your crash bug z and then grab the crash bug why off of the special summon and then go for the overlay play there it all depends on which of the crash bugs you want to normal summon out to the field we also run the three copies of cracking once per turn when a monster is sent from the field to the graveyard by a card effect inflict 800 damage to the owner of that monster so this is more or less to work with one of the other cards that we run in the deck as well which we'll get to when we go over some of the other cards for that damage just by a card effect there are some other options Options as well and so once per turn so you can inflict some burn damage using this card in the deck as a face of continuous spell even just when your opponent sends a card by a card effect that'll inflict 800 damage to the owner of that card as well and then I also run the three copies of Double Summon. It's the same premise as our 
go to Crash Bug Road, just a way to additional normal summon, another monster on the field. I really like this one with Tour Guide as well, because then you can go for the Tour Guide summon, summon out your other Crash Bug with the needed normal summon, and then just grab the special summon monster off of Tour Guide that you weren't going to normal summon. Three copies of Inferno Reckless Summon as well, just for when you special summon that last Crash Bug. Let's say you have the setup of you already have Z on the field, and then you go for the same option for your summon. So with this play, you have to have Z on the field. You can normal summon out your Crash Bug Y, then use this play to summon out with a special summon, your Crash Bug X, and then the Inferno Reckless Summon is special summon. You can then go for the Summon of Inferno Reckless Summon, and this will then grab you two additional Crash Bug X resources on the field for you to be able to use. So you'll have the three for the overlay and then the other two for an additional Xyz or Link Summon as well. And then this next spell lineup, you can either go with Allure of Darkness or Dark World Dealings in this spot. I like Dark World Dealings because it does give you more of the Crash Bugs in the graveyard for Super Crash Bug. Allure of Darkness gives you more of a draw power, but it banishes those monsters, so you can't really use them in the graveyard afterwards. With the one-ofs for the spells being one copy of Infected Mail, this can honestly be increased if you wanted to decrease some of your other numbers. You could decrease either the double summons or the cracking for more copies of Infected mail. Once per turn, you can target one face-up level four lower monster you control. You can attack your opponent directly this turn and send it to the graveyard. So this is so then you can switch your super crash bug into attack mode and swing directly into your opponent with it for 3,000 damage. Then it gets sent to the graveyard and you'll use your cracking for that card to then be able to inflict more damage to your opponent on top of it. The one copy of Burial from the Different Dimension to get back are Banished Crash Bug Monsters, Monster Reborn, along with Ready Fusion and Instant Fusion and the Reinforcement of the army to search out the um, basic um, Armageddon Knight search, and then just additional level 3 monsters to be able to summon off of Ready and Instant Fusion. For the traps, we're running 3 copies of Xyz Reborn, just to get back our Xyz monster resources with an Xyz material back onto the field using this trap, and lastly the 1 copy of Gozen Match, since the majority of monsters we'll be summoning from the main deck will be Dark Attribute, and the same goes for our number 34 Terabyte. For the extra deck, we're running two copies of Terabyte. Now, I, there's two alternate arts, for those that didn't know, of this card as well. Definitely do let me know down in the comments which one you prefer. I really do like the original that we got from Generation Force. Some prefer the, you know, a striking attack Terabyte, but that's just my preference. I always like the original copy. Once per turn, you can detach one excuse control from this card to target a level four lower attack position monster. Your opponent controls, gain control of it until the end phase. So this could even grab, you know, link monsters of your opponents, and then you could use those monsters for your own extra deck summoning when you take them with your terabyte once again just like super crash bug it's a defensive monster so you want to summon this card out in defense position with some of our other monsters being one number 30 acid golem of destruction this could honestly be another generic rank three i'm just running it for more of the number nostalgia one zed mains one mech quip engineer one alucard and the one levier for our other rank three xyz monsters we can make the one downward magician and the one zeus and the one sky Cry for our other Xyz monsters, with our Link monsters being the one copy of Nightmare Unicorn, the one Phoenix, and the one IP Mascarena, with our Fusion monster targets being the two copies of Dragoness the Wicked Knight. If you wanted to run Fusionist, you could always replace it as just another dark attribute spot in the deck for you to use also. With the go-to plays in the deck, as I mentioned before, you can go for your tour guide summon. This will summon out one of the crash bugs to the field, and then always just summon out the crash bug needed off of the tour guide, depending on if you have your normal summon for your other crash bug as well. Now, the big play here, and also since you special summon a crash bug, you could go for the Inferno Reckless summon of the special summon off of the tour guide, grabbing you two additional copies of the needed crash bug, and there's no specifications for the terabyte. It just needs three level three monsters, so you could go for all three of those crash bugs that you summoned off of this one monster to then go into the terabyte play with those cards. If you wanted to go for another route of the summon, you can go for the crash bug Y, grab whichever one you need to have face up on the field for your other crash bug as well. For your summon needing the crash bug Y to resolve this effect, so grab Y if you have X in your hand, and the way you'll summon X is with your double summon, giving you 
that additional normal summon because then you'll be able to summon out your crash bug x and then from there summon out the last needed crash bug to the field for your play if you wanted to go for more of a graveyard setup like let's say you already had the super crash bug in your hand and you wanted those cards in the graveyard ready to use you could go for the overlay of your three monsters into the terabyte then use the detached effect to grab one of your opponent's monsters on your side of the field and then you could use those additional monsters so you could use the opponent's monster and your own to then go for a link three exceed summon being able to just get rid of more of your opponent's resources in the form of your nightmare unicorn this will set up the three crash bugs in your graveyard as well for you then to banish to summon out your super crash bug to the field also but that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed. Like I said, I had a lot of fun working on this one. The Crash Bugs, while I don't think we'll maybe see any support for them in the near future, always a deck that deserves a little love just for being one of the first decks to support the number archetype, a very popular archetype that a lot of people will like. So without further ado, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Twig out.